What's up everyone, we are back with another video, and in this one we'll be talking about the disaster of a game, PlayStation's Concord. And the situation for this game has gone from bad to worse, to as bad as it can get. Uh, we're just learning yesterday, September 3rd, that the game will be shutting down at the end of the second week of the release on September 6th, 2024. Now, if you paid even a little attention to this game, you would have seen that the writing was on the wall since the first trailer dropped. The reception of the game as a whole was terrible. I mean, it, it, it didn't matter what was shown, whether it was gameplay characters and shoot, even a, a close and open beta didn't help it. And what, how terrible the numbers were, you could already kind of see that, yeah, it, it wasn't going to succeed. Now, I did actually give it a chance. I played in both the closed and open beta. Um, so I may have gotten maybe close to like 10 hours uh, playing in both of those. And I mean, for the most part, I did enjoy it. I was sitting playing it with my cousin. Um, but it just really didn't, it really didn't stand out from anything. And it just seemed like a uh, another Overwatch. But... Uh, yeah, pretty much just an Overwatch clone. And then you had, like, the sun. all the characters have, uh, you know, the basic shots. Then you have, like, kind of two special actions. But it doesn't have an ultimate or anything like uh, Overwatch does. And honestly, the characters in Overwatch are a bit more interesting. But it, it just seemed, it just seemed like a copy. Because even the characters I, I see, saw that I gravitated to were characters that were similar to Overwatch characters. Is uh one ninja like character that throw through the um throwing knives, she was like Genji. Um, then you had uh, there was one that had a rocket launcher, I can't think of her name. Um, I, I just I can't think of her name, but she was like Farah. And you also had uh, the other one I was playing with was uh Haymar, and I, I can't think of who she's like. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say Hanzo, she had a crossbow, but I guess, well, maybe I guess somewhat like Hanzo, but I mean, she could like glide and Hanzo couldn't do that, but yeah, it, it just, it was just kind of a clone. I enjoyed it. The game, it seemed like it had like a, a solid base, but it's just the characters, um, and just the fact that it was just more the same. And it didn't have anything to pull it apart from any other games. Now, I think the peak for the uh, beta might have been like around uh, for the Steam. Uh, on Steam, uh, we don't don't have the numbers for PlayStation. But on Steam, I think it was a little over 2,000. And those numbers are terrible for a beta. And I think even the open beta either had around the same amount or it might have been a little worse. I, I can't remember exactly. But it, it just, it wasn't enough. And you could kind of see like, that it's bad even when you have an open beta and people don't want to play it. So, I mean, I, I gave the game a shot and I was planning to buy it because uh, I play a lot of these, uh, some of these free to play games and shooters with my cousin. And um, both of us enjoyed it, but at the same time, we were like, I, I don't know. If if I'm going to stay with this, because even something like the first to send it, it's, it's a lot more fun in this game. But uh, both of us were going to were waited to buy the game, because I kind of figured the game wouldn't last that long, but uh, it's a lot shorter than what I thought it would be. And I think just last week, uh, I was talking to my cousin, and I think I had just gotten back from church, and I was we were just talking about Concord. And I had looked at the um, the Steam uh, DB, and I think the highest uh, all-time peak was like a little over 600. And when I looked at it, the number of people in the game were like 110 people. So I'm, when we, we just kind of laughed because it, it's, it's just it's horrible. So after seeing that, I was like, yeah, I, I can't buy this. Uh, it's going to be a waste of money. Now, the blog post from a uh, PlayStation blog uh, that dropped uh, yesterday, 
uh, coming from Ryan Ellis, game director of Firewalk Studios. And it's basically, uh, I guess, go ahead and read it. We'll have it up. I have a screen to read it. All right, so we have the blog here. Uh, we'll go ahead and read through it. Concord fans, we've been listening close to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PlayStation 5 and PC, and we want to thank everyone who has joined the journey aboard the North Star. Your support and the passionate community that has gone that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. However, while many qualities of the experience resonate with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game and our initial launch initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6, 2024, and explore options, including those that will better reach our players. While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately, and we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game on for PC or PS5 or PC. If you purchase a game for PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, the refund will be issued back to your original payment method. Uh, it's going through all the uh, storefronts how to be refunded. Customers who purchase from other digital storefronts will also be refunded. More information about refunds from Steam, Ep Steam and Epic can be found below. Steam Store. Steam Store will refund players who bought the game over the coming days. Steam will send confirmation of the refund once it has been processed. Epic Game Store. Epic Game Store will refund players who bought the game over the coming days and will contact each customer directly to confirm that the refund has been processed. Other retailer refunds for customers who have purchased a physical copy at a retailer location outside of PlayStation directly. Please refer to the refund process of the retailer you purchased it from to obtain your refund. Once refunded, players will no longer have access to the game. We'll keep you updated and thank you, Garen, to all the forerunners or free runners who have joined us in the Concord Galaxy. Yep. So, yeah, the, the game is. I, I guess we'll see what they do. Um, I don't know if this game can come back. Um, we have seen games like um, No Man's Sky. And uh, oh, I can't think of that other game. Uh, Cyberpunk. We have seen those games come back and have done extremely well, but with this one, I, I just don't know. Um, if they are bringing it back, I'd assume they might be bringing back like free to play. And uh, but I I just don't know because it's just the game as a whole. It just seemed like most people just don't like it. From the characters, um, and I know a lot of people complaining uh, with that uh, that they had pronouns in the in the game. Uh, they just didn't like the characters. They uh, the gameplay for like I said for me though the gameplay is solid, but it. It just doesn't separate itself from anything else. And it's like, why would I play this and not play something like Overwatch or uh, Marvel Rivals? The game just got moved up to December. So in a few months, we'll be able to play that, and that'll be free to play. And if I remember correctly, all the characters are going to be unlocked. So you don't have to do any extra stuff to unlock the characters. So you'll just be able to play with whoever you like. And again, it's free to play. And it's Marvel characters. So it's just, yeah, this game, and this is, this, this is probably one of the worst uh, AAA PlayStation games. Um, for the reception and, and the performance of it. So, yeah, it's, it's just bad. Yeah, so I I guess we'll see what they what they do, what they try to do, and we'll see if they'll be able to make a comeback or if they'll just say, you know, it forget it. Cause this game this game took eight years and I think I saw that they might have spent over a hundred million on it, something like that. So yeah. 
they spent a whole lot of money for a game they they spent eight years on and within this at the end of the second week that the game will be out is getting uh closed down and everybody's getting their refund refunds back so yeah i don't know yeah it's this this uh, it's been horrible for this game but uh yeah that's it like i said i guess we'll see what they do and um we'll see what happens with firewalk studios um i mean hopefully people don't lose their jobs and it doesn't get shut down hopefully they can maybe move on and maybe do some single player games or something but hopefully we don't see a whole lot of these just these free to play games just continue to make good games you can make multiplayer games but make something good make something solid but yeah um but yeah that's gonna be it we do have astro uh coming out this friday so uh the september 6th when uh, this is shutting down so hopefully that's good we should be seeing reviews and everything's for that soon and i will be streaming it so be on the lookout but that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications every time we go live and post a video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you uh, think about Concord, if you even played it or if you didn't even want to bother trying it. But yeah, that's it. Everyone have a good one. Be cool. Stay safe out there. Show someone some love. And God bless. Peace.